So I want to talk about one of the most important foods that you should be eating on the ketogenic diet, and that would be shellfish. Okay, why? Because if you're going to do the healthy version of keto, you want to make sure that you consume nutrient-dense foods. And out of all the foods, shellfish are at the top of the list. When we deal with nutrients that are really important and that are commonly deficient in your diet. So shellfish is loaded with iodine. Most of the iodine is stored in the thyroid. It's in other organs too, but it's there to help make thyroid hormones. It's really important in a growing child. Also, if a woman is pregnant, it's vital that they consume foods with iodine because that has an influence on their IQ as well as their growth. So it's very, very important. Number two, iron. Now, if you're deficient in iron, you can have a lot of problems. Anemia, growth and development, carrying oxygen through your body. But having a deficiency of iron is equally as bad as having too much. So you don't want too much. You don't want too little. You want just the right amount. Just so happens that shellfish has a good amount of the type of iron that your body needs. Next one is zinc. Is zinc important? Well, it's involved in 2,000 different enzymes in your body. So it's vitally important for your immune system, for your skin, to help you with testosterone, to help prevent viruses and bacteria. So it really helps your immune system. It's just involved in a lot of different things. So shellfish is loaded with zinc. Uh, selenium, okay, this is a, a really important mineral. Uh, by the way, it's a trace mineral and it's most concentrated in the thyroid. It acts as a very powerful antioxidant to protect against oxidation um, that we actually make as hydrogen peroxide, especially if we have um, a problem with um, the thyroid. Let's say, for example, you had Hashimoto's, for example, or have any autoimmune, you're going to generate more free radicals, uh, more oxidants. So you need a very powerful antioxidant. Now, your body makes something called glutathione, and guess what? You need selenium to make that antioxidant. So selenium is really essential in keeping things at bay and neutralizing these free radicals. It does a lot of other things as well. Selenium is very plentiful in shellfish. Next thing is copper. It's another trace mineral. Copper is really good uh, for the adrenals. It's also involved with collagen and ligaments and tendons. So it's a really important uh, trace mineral. And then we have DHA, which is really key for the brain, for the eye, for the heart. This is an omega-3 fatty acid. It helps in the development of the size of the brain, but it's also important in a lot of other things too. In fact, your brain is structurally made out of this fat, okay? Shellfish has this fat. And then B12. If you're deficient in B12, not only could you experience anemia, but you could experience debilitating neurological problems that could become permanent. So B12 is also in shellfish. Now, if you're on the ketogenic diet, definitely start increasing the amount of shellfish in your diet. We're talking about crab, lobster, shrimp, scallops, oysters, clam, and mussels. Just make sure you add more grass-fed butter to it as you dip your shrimp or lobster in the butter, okay? Because we want the benefit of the healthy fat in there called butyrate, which is really good for our digestive system. Now, if we were to rate all the foods based on the density of nutrients in order of importance, I would put this number one, this number two, eggs have just about every nutrient except vitamin C. Number three is vegetables. And I'm talking about dark leafy greens and especially things like asparagus. Very, very important for your folate, which stabilizes your DNA. It does a lot more, but a lot of people are deficient in folate. Um, and also these foods have a lot of magnesium and potassium and vitamin C. And by the way, I would say 40 to 50% of the population is deficient in magnesium, which is another really, really important uh, mineral that you need. Okay, then cruciferous vegetables are also very important, and that will help to uh, give you additional health benefits that go way beyond just vitamins and minerals. Plus, it has tons of potassium, magnesium, vitamin C, uh, things like that. Okay, then we have fish. Okay, make sure you get the wild caught. Salmon is at the top of the list. You want fatty fish. It's loaded with DHA. It has B12. It has zinc. It has a lot of these minerals right here. And then we get beef liver. I personally don't like liver, uh, but I will consume either pate 
or something like the uh, liverwurst uh, that U.S. Wellness has because they, they add in their liver and kidney and heart. It's actually very healthy for you. Now, there's a lot of other foods, uh, grass-fed meats and things like that, but I wanted to give you a list of very nutrient-dense foods in the order that I'm just basically arbitrarily making, but in the order which I think has the most concentrated nutrients. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.